Yo me quedo con su licencia. Get off the motorcycle and follow me in the vehicle. Take off your helmet. Okay. Here we go. Look at our foot pedal welded repair in the light of day. Whoa. Look at that. Whew. That is absolutely solid now. I think that's probably even more solid than it was before it broke. Wow, what a result. Ready for the next drop, yeah? <laughs> Gracias. Gracias, ciao, ciao. Little, little turn here, there we go. We're on our way. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 363 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And we are here in the town of Yinotega in Nicaragua. And we're surrounded by beautiful forested mountains. And we were super lucky because last night we managed to get our broken foot pedal fixed by an amazing guy called Tito with the help of another amazing guy called Len. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> a crazy evening we spent the whole time just hanging out with everybody whilst everything was kind of getting sorted and it was always like are we going to be able to get this done are we not going to be able to get this done but in the end Tito got it done we got our foot pedal welded we got it back on the bike and now this morning we're ready to go yes the main difficulty was actually that it was a public holiday so all the shops were closed and it was like quite hard for Tito to figure out like where can I get the aluminium from and who can weld it so he called up a bunch of people and at like 10 o'clock in the evening everything got fixed <laughs> love you guys so it does mean that we are ready to make our way and today we've got a super exciting day because we are heading to the border of Honduras country number 18, 18. 18. <laughs> Country number 18. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's about three, three and a half hours over to the border. And then from there, the capital of Honduras, called Tegulquicalpa, is about another two, two and a half hours. So depending on how we get on today with crossing the border, we might be able to reach the capital. Yes, we have a big mission today to cross the border into Honduras. And we have a long way to go. It's already nine o'clock so better hit the road let's go some traffic jams yeah there's like a whole herd of cows running across the road hey guys hello. where are you going <laughs> oh my lord oh hello cutie oh, they're super cute though, hey look <laughs> yes. wow. hello <laughs> i love them <laughs> Será que está cerca de mí? Será que tú cantas por mí cuando la vela prendí? Pasaron los años así. Siento tu presencia en mí y ya que me pongo a escribir. It's really interesting here where we are right now because the road is actually all bricks. Which is absolutely crazy when you think about that. They had to lay every little brick, you know, next to each other. A lot of hands over a lot of hours, <laughs> days, weeks. Yes. Yes. We're just stopping here in this super cute place for a bite to eat. Look, uh, with like uh, really, really big parrots. <laughs> cool, look at that. Oh, Very it's, nice. It's like a little pet, hey? No, no, that's on the menu. Nice, so apparently they have like queso free free jaws. Frijol is, is beans. Which is nice, I like it. So it's like a cheese and bean patty. Wow. Looks really nice. I mean, this is like the best ever. Yeah, 
Definitely. Okay, cool. Okay, so, how many frigolitos do you want? I don't know. Okay, okay. Maybe four frigolitos? Do you think four? Or two each. Shisi is just cheese and frigolito is cheese and beans. All nicely fried up on this big frying pan here. Absolutely incredible. Cool. Cool. Ah, look, all the ingredients there and then just... And you just... <laughs> Amazing. Nice, it looks like a really local coffee. Yes, look, Nicaragua. It's made, it's made just here, hey? Yeah. Oh, nice. And then they've got plantain chips. I like them. Dos chisi y dos frijolitos y um, uh, dos café con leche. Solo café negro. Okay, café negro. Okay, gracias. Gracias. So it comes with a little salad, comes with a nice dip. Looks pretty tasty, eh? Yes. That whole thing is just cheese. Yes. That's the biggest cheese thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Muchas gracias, thank you. Hello. So from one out of 10? 11 out of 10. <laughs> I got some dessert. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like mashed up fruits with some sugary sauce on top. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's very, very sweet. <laughs> And this whole like restaurant complex is super cool because it's, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like on this beautiful little river system here. And it's just got all these nice decorations everywhere. And it just looks like a little paradise here. Hey guys, I don't know if you've noticed us wearing these t-shirts before. Well, these are our Overlander tees and we're selling them on our Etsy store. We actually designed them ourselves, so you better like them. If you love what we do and want to show your support, why not buy one of these super cool tees? By doing so, you'll be helping us get a hot meal or a cozy air-conditioned room for the night. Head over to our Etsy store and order one today. We get it shipped out for you wherever you are in the world. Thanks, Mum and Dad. <laughs> you can find the link to the store in the description below. Thanks so much, guys. And now, back to the video. So I think it's about time to tell you guys a little bit about country number 17 on our trip, the land of sea and volcanoes, Nicaragua. So the area what is now Nicaragua has been home to people since at least 12,000 BC. But the country was colonized by the Spanish, just like everywhere else, in the 1500s and they got their independence as well, just like most other countries, in 1821 as part of the Mexican Empire. They then became part of the Federal Republic of Central America and didn't gain independence as a sovereign nation until 1838. The country now has a population of 6.3 million people and the capital and largest city is Managua. And it's actually super cool because this country is home to the Bosawas Biosphere Reserve which is the second largest rainforest in the Americas behind the Amazon rainforest of course so who knew that this country in Central America had the second largest rainforest is it insane the name Nicaragua has like two main theories of where that came from the first theory is that it's named after Nicarau who was a chieftain of an important tribe in the area when the Spanish arrived and the second theory is that it's a combination of local indigenous words from the Nahuatl language and one of the possible meanings is surrounded by water which you can actually see because here are a lot of lakes and oh. should I just go through the cones? I, I guess so. Cones, eh? yes, so. oh. oh should we do, just continue filming or not? I guess so we're already okay. filming so yeah hola hola buenas buenos dias buenos dias okay I think it's in the back, eh? I think so. Uh, where is it? Is it this one? Oh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, Honduras. Honduras. The, the frontera. Licencia. Reino Unido. ¿De dónde viene? ¿Dónde viene? Oh, Inglaterra. Inglaterra e Alemania. Primera vez que pasan por Nicaragua. Uh, sí, primera. Costa Rica, and Masaya, and uh, Matagalpa, aquí. Yeah. 
Hey, Honduras. <laughs> Violó la señal de tránsito. Uh, again? Violó una señal de tránsito, pero ahí no podías pasar por donde están los conos. Uh, Tenías que hacer el giro al otro lado. No podías pasar. Oh, oh, no, no through, around. Ah, ok, ok. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Cuando el conductor pasa por ahí, se le aplica lo que es una infracción de tránsito. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, no, no comprende. Maybe you can try to translate uh, no, uh, it. Traductor. Le voy a explicar un poco, a ver si, a ver si logra entender. Esta es una infracción. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, he wants to give us an infraction. Okay. Okay. Mire, cuando usted comete una infracción a la ley de tránsito, a las señales de tránsito aquí en Nicaragua. Okay. Se le aplica una multa con esto. Okay. Esta. A usted como conductor se le entrega esta boleta. Esta okay. es una boleta. Okay. Y yo me quedo con su licencia. Ajá. Uh -huh. Don't understand anything. No, no, um, tiene um, um, traductor. Uh, tiene tiene internet traductor. Hola. 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 Esta boleta usted la tiene que pagar en el banco. Okay. Banco. Semana Santa el banco está cerrado. Pero hay un problema. Usted no puede salir del país con esta boleta. I wish I understood. No comprende. Uh, <laughs> lo siento. Um, tiene internet? Ya tiene internet? And then... Yes, perfecto. Hablo español. No bueno. I just need to drink some water. Yeah, whatever, we just want to license back and then we leave. The traffic infraction applied to you for neglecting a traffic signal. Okay, pay it at a bank. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, around. We are really sorry. Oh, sorry. Yep. But we will uh, take the uh, ticket? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Do you want to read it out for him? Uh, uh yes, okay. the motorcycle and follow me in the vehicle take off your helmet please okay to apply the <laughs> infraction okay okay so my license or do i have the license i think he has the license okay let's take this one what is this one this one <laughs> I believe he's going to keep the license until we pay the infraction. Yeah, but we can't. If he wants us to do it, then we can give him the money for the infraction now. Because we have to continue, you know? I mean, they can't really take the license off of you, can they? Yeah. We need the license back. You can ask him, like, please give me the license back. I will pay it on Tuesday. Five minutes later. If he didn't know we were leaving the country, it would have been fine. Okay. It's just because we said we were leaving the country. It's my bad. I did commit an infraction. Apparently, you're not allowed to do that, what I did. So, well, at least he wasn't trying to get a bribe. Yeah, I mean, I think he wanted to, but he couldn't because you handed him in front of two other people ah. 500. That's not how you're supposed to do it, my love. Yeah, you're yeah. You're supposed to be way more um, subtle than that. So anyway, a bit of a tricky situation, but it turned out okay. And now we are only an hour from the border, so good to go. Police barrier number 25. Bienvenidos a Honduras. What's that noise? Can you see something? So we had a little inspection here of the wheel. 